Hey guys, it's Mayurio, music producer, faculty at Beat Factory Academy and Beat Factory Online, and starting today, a wannabe reviewer. No, God, please no. Logic Pro has just released its new update and it's one of the biggest updates that we've seen in a long time. I mean, of course, Logic Pro is owned by Apple and Apple as you know is known for its innovation, right? So here's a list of the top 5 features in the new Logic Pro X which also happened to be present in Ableton Live for quite a few years now. Number 1 Automatic tempo sync for any audio files. Now Logic only used to do this with its own Apple loops cuz and it was very frustrating to manually adjust an external audio file to match with the tempo. Now finally it tempo adjusts all files automatically as soon as you drag and drop them in. just like ableton number 2 live loops or as ableton likes to call it session view it's a feature that has made ableton live what it is in fact it's not even a feature but an ecosystem in itself you can add loops scenes play pause just like in ableton but wait kudos for logic to design these loop waveforms as circles at least one thing they didn't copy from ableton okay number 3 logarithmic view in channel eq I know logic people must be like what is this sh but channel eq just got these logarithmic lines that help analyze the octaves and frequencies even better this is the kind of feature you never knew you needed until you start using it and of course guess who did it first number 4 drum machine designer now ableton is well known for its versatile drum rack which according to apple is a feature they can copy bit to bit i mean look at this interchangeable drum grids check the sample wave screen check individual outputs for each drum check loading plugin instead of samples check quick sampler integration check and speaking of quick sampler who remembers exs24 every time i teach it to students i ask myself the question why 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 well your logic's answer the quick sampler you can simply drag and drop samples warp it pitch it you know setting the start and end points visually fading visually gliding envelopes lfos these are all the cool features you get with the new ableton sampler uh, i mean uh, logic's quick sampler sorry i got a little confused i mean classic one shot slice logic could have at least changed the titles even the sensitivity knob in slice is exactly the same in conclusion as much as i want to criticize logic they have definitely taken a step in the right direction and with a ui that is a little more classier than ableton they might just come back strong in the daw game that reminds me if you're not too happy with the colors in ableton like me i have this little freebie for you a custom dark skin for ableton live that you can download from the link below And of course you can thank me by subscribing and following me on Instagram where I keep on uploading content and if you made it this far in the video I want to give a huge shout out to my academy beat factory who have started with their online classes the first subject we have taken up is the complete basics of music production which we are going to do in ableton itself so if you want to know the details i have the website link and phone numbers mentioned in the description below so once again thank you for watching and stay safe